Sports 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Uh, we're starting off quiet this morning across the Susquehanna Valley, but things will start to change as we go throughout the rest of today. Starting off comfortable, too, with those temperatures and humidity levels staying down, but that humidity will start to rise into the later parts of the afternoon hours. We have a warm front. You can kind of see it here as we look to a satellite and radar. A couple of showers dotting the radar map and a few clouds there down into the Ohio Valley. But as you can see here in the Susquehanna Valley, we still do have high pressure or higher pressure, I should say, in control of our weather pattern. And uh, other than just a, very, a few very low clouds here across the region, we're waking up to some pretty comfortable conditions. Temperatures right Right now, we are sitting into uh, around the low to mid 60s across the valley. We zoom in here a little bit closer, and we are seeing those temperatures generally between the 50s and the 60s. And as we go throughout the rest of today, we will warm up to around the low 80s for those highs in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. And we have Harrisburg in the background here. We'll call it variably cloudy, though, because as that warm front that I was just talking about approaches the region, it will act to enhance some of that low level cloud cover. So uh, a little bit of sunshine peeking through, otherwise, just a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And as that warm front approaches, also bringing in the humidity along with it. So turning muggy and uh, pretty mild too, milder than what we had yesterday for sure. Into tonight, partly to mostly cloudy and pretty mild once again into the upper 60s for lows tonight. And as that humidity continues to rise through the overnight, meets up with those temperatures which will be cooling. And we can't rule out the chance of some isolated patchy fog to head into tomorrow morning. And it looks like by tomorrow for the day, we'll be tracking some upper level energy to swing through. That could trigger some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Storms for us, but again, mainly during the afternoon hours. I think if you have any of those morning outdoor plans, should be good to go. Otherwise, warm and humid, those highs will be climbing into around the middle 80s. And speaking of Harrisburg, we have the Capona Fest going on on City Island starting today. And I think today, not too bad. We'll be warm and humid, but dry. 82 for the high there, and then watching for those scattered showers and storms starting tomorrow afternoon. And then they even linger into Monday, which the festival continues all the way into Monday as well. Looking at the numbers from yesterday, 79 was the the official high out of Harrisburg International Airport. Our average high this time of the year is 82, so we were just a little bit below that. The morning low, quite a bit below the average low for this time of the year. In fact, Harrisburg was one of the milder spots. We did have some 40s yesterday morning, a pretty cool uh, start to that morning, and it actually ended up to be a pretty nice day. Heading into today, though, in terms of weather and your health, the grass and ragweed pollens continue to be high. Our air quality, though, will actually go down. In fact, uh, yesterday it was at good levels. Today we're going to be at moderate because of the particulates that are in the air. That's the humidity rising and allowing some of that pollution to get trapped near the surface. Our UV index today is at a 6. That means your burn time about 30 minutes. Now, right now, we're looking live from our Harrisburg Skycam. And you see the Susquehanna River there in the background. Overall, not looking too bad. Dew points right now, pretty comfortable. But you're starting to see that humidity coming in with that warm front as it begins to lift to the northeast. And uh, as we go into the afternoon, that warm front lifts through, watching for that stray shower or storm. Again, pretty stray, though. And we're going to be seeing it really Really just in the western counties. A better chance as we go into Sunday with uh, more widespread showers and thunderstorms as some upper level energy continues to swing through. And then we continue to see the shower and storm chances as we head into our Labor Day, although the chances will be lower than what they will be as we go uh, into tomorrow. And then we'll wait for this cold front, which will finally kick all of this mess out of here, heading into around the middle of the week. So the three day forecast does remain a little bit unsettled. Uh, the better chance for rain will be tomorrow afternoon. Still hanging on to the rain chances there Monday and and Tuesday, and then as we go into Wednesday, some clearing for us uh, a little bit warmer as we go towards the end of next week. And staying pretty sticky, too. So, Caitlin, the seven day forecast. We don't really have any relief in sight. And in yeah. fact, it looks like after Labor Day, it continues to feel like summer. But again, just kind of chances of rain, so right. not really canceling Labor Day plans. That's right. Anything. Yeah, it's not a washout for yeah. us. Just have to watch, keep our eyes to the sky. All right. Thank you, Matt. Mm -hmm.